you want to know how to change out the bed on a Focus Odin 5 F3 3D printer? Well, you're in luck. This video's for you. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to change out the bed on my Focus Odin 5 F3 3D printer. If you've been following along with my channel, you know I'm having a problem with this 3D printer right back here. It's not printing correctly. I'm, I'm having problems with adhesion on the bed. And basically, the middle of the 3D printer is too high. If you haven't looked at my last videos, first I changed out the wheels on the 3D printer bed. Then I changed the wheels out on the extruder head. Made a big difference as far as keeping stuff level, but the middle is still high. I'm not having problems with fluctuation in level in the four corners, I'm having problems with just the middle being too high. So everything's even now, no wobble, all four corners are lining up perfectly, they're staying where they need to be now, not like before, but the middle is still high. I'm hoping this bed will do the trick. Now the manufacturer was supposed to send me a bed, but I could get this one much faster, so I went ahead and ordered the bed. Since you did see my last video, they did send me this kit, which is a $25 to $30 value, which is really nice that they sent that, but it's not really solving any problems for me. And it looks like they sent me the same wheels that I was having a problem with. So I probably wouldn't use the wheels, but it's nice to have an extruder head. Really haven't been communicating back and forth with them too much. Kind of getting frustrated, kind of feeling like I'm getting the runaround. But like I said in my last videos, all 3D printers have problems. Without further ado, let's get over to the workbench and go through the process of changing out the bed. So the first thing we're gonna do is just loosen these righty tighty lefty loosey we're just going to loosen the top the knobs underneath this bed completely loosen them up and we start with the front and then we go to the back we don't want to bend the bed and this is an aftermarket bed so just do these at the same time so that way the spring pressure gets off i have to hold that screw we got that one wheel off that one out so now we'll go the same direction we were going before with the back ones and these are the same screws you use to adjust the bed we're just taking them completely off one wheel and the second wheel now you should be able to lift the bed up and lift that up and you'll see the springs and these screws are going to come out we're going to put them off to the side we don't want to lose those Just walk this to the back and put your springs off to the side. Now what we're going to do is put this on its side. I'm going to use this to actually hold up the printer on this side. I'm going to turn it around. All right, so I'm going to put it on its side like this. And I know it's a weird angle, but we got six major screws. And they're right in between your feet. So we're going to grab these two first. We'll go ahead and unscrew those. See, that's your foot. And that's the screw. We'll put that off to the side. Go for the next one, then the one at the bottom, then the next one, and then it changes. We gotta go from this one to the smaller one, and we're gonna go for these screws right in the middle. And just so I know, I have a little piece of tape because this panel just looks like one piece. I'm just going to put it at this top so that way I know this is the bottom and this is the part that has to go towards the power supply. Just a little trick that I use to identify it because it can be a little confusing. It can only go in one way, but it just saves you some headache of figuring out what the heck you did. Get the last screw off right there, and then your panel should be removed. And disclaimer, you have electrical components. I'm not responsible for you or your printer. Do this at your own risk. So I put this at an angle that you guys can see it at. This is where your wire is coming in right here. First thing we're gonna do is cut this zip tie right here. Make sure you don't get any of the wires. Hit that, that way it's disconnected. And there also may be a zip tie down here as well. The piece we're gonna take out first is the thermostat switch. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out right like so. Okay, if you look at it from here, you have a red and a black it might be one wire, it might be two wires. In my case, it was two wires. Sometimes it's one wire, but they're in a positive and a negative. And again, make sure there's no power. We're going to just disconnect the negative, unscrew that, and unscrew the positive. And then we should be able to pull those right out, like so. 
and just shimmy the wires out like so all right so now we got new bed or in my case the old bed because that wasn't my problem and you have a braided cable with the same wires and this one actually just has two black wires there and then two thick black and red wires just to show you basically you got your positive and negative to heat the bed and then you got your thermostat right here which is two wires for the thermostat I'm actually gonna attach the bed first so I'm gonna flip it over and attach the bed alright so you got your screws for the bed and you got your springs so what we're gonna do is I like to put it in the bed like this first on the back one with the power cord and I actually made a 3d printed piece that holds this cord so it doesn't get frayed I'm gonna throw that on there as well and then I just go for this part of the bed drape the wires over like so and just try to find the hole all right now I got in that hole I'm gonna throw one of those wheels on it real quick just to hold it in place we're not gonna tighten it down all right now that's in place we're gonna take another spring Put it in right underneath there. Try to find the hole for the next one. Same thing with this. Again. Boom. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and go around and put these wheels on. Make sure they're facing with the up. So that's good for now. Let's flip it back over and take a look at the underside. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is take the wire and we're going to snake it through. We'll go with the sensor first because that's the longer wire. And then the two positive and negative leads. I'm going to go all the way through and we're going to go ahead and bring this through too. Give yourself some slack. If you remember earlier, the positive was right next to the positive. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just slide it in there and screw her down. And it shouldn't be able to come out when you pull on it it shouldn't come out same thing with the negative go ahead with that one boom knock that into place there we go so that one's into place this is your sensor wire and we're just going to plug that right here you can see that and it can only go in one way boom you're done all right, so I just did a little power test just to make sure that this is all working correctly. Do not put your hands in here while this is powered up. I'm just testing to make sure everything looks correctly, everything's working correctly, and I'm heating the bed right now just to make sure that it's going to heat and that it's going to stop at a certain temperature. You can see that it is staying stable with the temperature, and I am flipping this video upside down just to show you that it is keeping the correct temperature, and that's what I'm worried about. I don't want any runaway. So that means everything was connected correctly, it is heating up, and it's staying at the right temperature, which I only set it up for 40 degrees, and now I'll turn it off. All right, so I unplugged it, I powered it off. Now, there was a dab of hot glue on this. You don't have to do this, but it was there already, so I'm going to go ahead and I have my little wireless YOB hot glue gun. And I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue right there, like they had it, just in case it was something that was necessary. So I'll just let that sit. Like I said, I don't know if that's necessary, but that's what they had there, so I'm going ahead and doing that. Next thing I want to do is zip tie. I'm going to go for this bundle right here. Try not to touch the power supply, because it may be holding some voltage. And just keep these wires away from the power supply. So we're just going to zip tie them in the middle here. Not too tight, just tight enough right there. And I'm going to go ahead and zip tie these. And that's the way it was factory before I messed with it. And we'll zip tie this right here. Alright, so everything's nice and neat now. Take our cutters. Take off the access. Your flush cutters that you use for your 3D printer. Cut off the access. Looks like it was never touched. Boom. Alright, so now you're going to get your cover. And we're going to just go ahead and put this right over the top of it like so and I put that piece of tape so I know which one's the top which one's the bottom go ahead and put the screws back in with the feet and these don't have to be super tight because it's rubber I just put them tight enough and then the last foot right on this corner right here I know it's a little out of camera view there but you get the idea and now we're going to switch over to the smaller Allen key. I'm going to do the little screws that go right in the middle. So one over here. I'm just going to hand tighten them for now. And then one over here. And that's all there is.
there is to it. Now this is back together. I'll tighten down these levers underneath to get ready for the glass bed to be on it, re-level it, and get this up and running again. All right, so that's how you change out the bed on the Focus Odin 5 F3. Unfortunately, you saw me putting my old bed back on it, if you did notice that throughout the video. The bed's still good on this one, so there's no reason to change out a perfectly good bed. I'm gonna hold on to this for my other 3D printers, because I have three, and this will work on all three of them, because they're all pretty much standard. I was going back and forth with the manufacturer. I'm kind of done with talking to them, to be honest with you. I asked them for this piece right here, that's the under bed carriage. I'm thinking that that may be bent. They refused to send that to me, so I'm kind of at a loss. You know, maybe it's because they sent this to me for free and I didn't get enough views on the initial review video. That could possibly be it. That's the world of YouTube. You're only as valuable as your views. Now I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve that I'm gonna try out this week, and hopefully if I fix this, I will make you a video showing you how to fix this thing. But I think I'm really, really close. The wheels were definitely a must on this thing. Now I just have to figure out a way to raise that middle. Like I said guys in my past video I went through everything on this printer and the only thing that I can think of is the piece that I requested that they refused to send me. So I'm kind of done with the manufacturer as far as that goes. I mean they're not gonna send me another one because they sent me this one for free. I totally get it. Views aren't high. I get it. I get it. But I will find the answer for anybody that is having this problem so we can have this printer fixed because I recommended it and I want to know how to fix it. I want to know how to get it working, especially because I recommend it and I stand by what I recommend. So I'm hoping this one's just a dud. Leave comments down below if you have a good experience with this printer or a bad experience. I'm just curious to see if it's just a dud. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And ring that bell if you like my content and you want to see more of it. Really help helps out the channel. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys. They said that the bed would take anywhere from a month to two months. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.